Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the R the JL Industries RHD-Kit-Hinges. This uh, video is going to show you this pair of hinges. It's a pair of hinges. When you buy one, you're going to buy two or one pair of hinges for their RHD Diamond Series roof hatches, the new newest evolution of their roof hatch. So you're going to be uh, receiving, and I'll go through the parts first, um, the typical sort of two-part nested bracket sort of hinge assembly that you see here. You have part of it that's going to go onto the lid. The other part will go onto the side wall of the unit. Okay, A couple of brackets that will nest together. And as we go through them, what we'll do is we'll go through the dimensional properties as well. And from what I gather, they're going to it's going to look like this when the unit is in the closed position. Okay. When you open that lid, that back bracket is going to, of course, come up like this. The lid bracket. Um, except that this is going to feature a stiffener bracket. This RHD Diamond Series has a stiffener bracket. Well, this goes onto the, the uh, lid itself, and then your bracket is going to mount over it like that. And that makes sense. You've got a lot of, um, you know, a lot of force on the lid, the weight of the lid itself, any sort of environmental conditions that make the lid move quickly. Um, and all of that force is only distributed through the first surface area of the, of the bracket that goes to the lid itself. So obviously their engineering decided that it was necessary to have a stiffener bracket. This is the first time I've seen a stiffener bracket on a roof hatch hinge. But nonetheless, JL Industries has that available. Uh, actually, I may be showing that to you backwards. Okay. I believe that lip is going to go towards the bottom of the unit based on the drawing that we are looking at, or we will be looking at in a moment. Yeah, we'll take a closer study of that together as we go through it. So the portion that's going to go on the sidewall, or the outside of the sidewall, about 3 and 3 sixteenths, about 7 eighths, then an overall projection of about an inch and a quarter. You know, a zinc plated, uh, zinc plating over steel. The sidewall bracket. It's going to measure about three. Uh, pardon me, about two and seven eighths overall height, about an inch and a quarter as well. Uh, projection. Looks like it's about an inch and a sixteenth. Then our reinforcing bracket for the sake of taking that dimension. A length of about nine inch, and an overall height. Of about an inch and seven sixteenths. The only other thing that you'll get with this will be the bolt package. Um, you're going to get, you know, uh, the long pins. See that there's a hole in the bag, and I want to cover that up now. Let's take out the screw package and see what's involved here. We also go through these packages, uh, or at least we intend to, to see what's missing. JL. JL. And I can see that there is not. A well, let's count it. Doesn't look like we're missing anything. Okay, so we have eight nuts and eight bolts. That's telling me that we have two bolts too many. We have eight sets of this. Then we have two pins with a spring-loaded ball bearing in it. And that spring-loaded bearing is obviously going to be for running down through the hole to hold it all together. Okay. Uh, where the eight screws, eight bolts are going to be, two will be for the side wall uh, leg. The, you'll need you'll need a total for f of four of these, but you know you're gonna stack two of them together like this. That's how it's shown. So you'll have a couple of extra screws. 
um, you know, admittedly, uh, we check it because there's always, there's see, there is seemingly, seemingly always a problem with the bolt package. This time there are just apparently two more than necessary, which is better than two more, two, rather than obviously too short. Um, so we've got the dimensional properties. Let's switch to the screen view where we can take a look at the supporting documentation. Now, before I go further, it would be said that this hinge is specifically for the RHD Diamond series from JL Industries. I, when I received this material, I had never seen that stiffener bracket in the past, so I reached out to my contact in technical support at the factory, and they basically told me it's a stiffener bracket is what it is, and you can see it here. Okay. Um, it appears, you know, it could be that they have the lid turned upside down and that this inside corner is to mount towards the top of the lid. That would make sense. So that little curved side here would go towards the top of the installation and that turned over edge here will be the stiffener on that entire sidewall of the lid only. Um, remove, so the, insta the installation instructions they provide for this, remove the old hinge pins by pressing and pulling through. Got to remove that pin itself, the pin. Carefully remove the lid, having at least two people lift and place on a horizontal working surface. Install the lid hinges and hinge stiffeners. So what they're telling us here is that these hinges, when you're installing them, here's the procedure, but they're also inferring that these are backwards compatible, I think, with prior versions, which makes sense because that would go in line with other hardware that they produce for the RHD Diamond series, uh, especially like a lid, um, uh, a lifting mechanism because it's backwards compatible. Install lid hinges and hinge stiffeners. Remove the hinges on the existing lid. Keep the hardware, but discard the hinges. Um, okay. Install the hinge stiffener and new thicker, wider lid hinges, making sure to position the angled end up as shown in figure eight. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. So when you're looking at the angled end here, that would go towards the top of the lid, as would be the curved area of your hinge stiffener. The hinge stiffener is universal, so be sure to mount in the correct holes. Figure 9 shows the left side, and figure 10 shows the right side. Uh, oh, forgive me, shows the center hinge mounting position. So what they're saying is when you're at either end, you're going to bias the hinge plate towards the outside and let that stiffener run. You'll have to let it run further out. If you have a middle hinge, then just center it, is, is all that they're really saying here. Um, let's take a look now at the other supporting documentation we have for this. There is a link below this video called Parts Drawing. And they do refer to the hinges here in number 8, RHD-Kit-Hinges. They don't refer to that hinge stiffener whatsoever. And in the CAD drawing that is available, They don't really, re they don't refer to it at all either, in fact. Let's take a closer look if we can. Okay, it's not referred to here it would be in this area here but we don't we don't see it referred to at all in the CAD drawing okay so this parts manual is nice because it will show you um, all of the possible parts for their new RHD diamond series roof hatches Go through it quickly a summary overview 
of everything that's here. Gasketing usually goes with hinges as well. Uh, and the gasket is part number six, which we have in the site as well, showing the gasketing. An overview of the latch assembly, the interior latch assembly alone, the latching portion. This shows you the exterior half as well. The, next, the fourth page shows the handle only that would mount to the underside of the lid. A hold open bracket assembly. The gasketing here is shown. The lifting mechanism is, is also shown here. That's a pretty common item to purchase. The replacement, you see both of them here, the, the uh, lifting mechanism and the hold open bracket. Those items are very typical to uh, need to have replaced. Um, whether it be d by damage, you know, a severe wind catches it. I just had a client um, email me photographs of a severe wind condition. And here it is. This isn't a JL unit, but nonetheless, I mean, he totally lost the lifting mechanism and broke the handle assembly altogether. Just cracked it completely off. So, um, yeah, extreme wind. You know, another thing, what happens is people actually remove the material and put it on a different roof hatch. Um, I, I find that to be uh, something that I hear about uh, more, than, more than just once or twice. Um, but every th we, we generally stock all the parts for this roof hatch, and it's because they're, they're all items that you're going to end up selling. Uh, there is also a link to the installation instructions of the RHD, the entire unit that's here that's really you know as a distributor all we need to do is get it to the job the roofer's got all the work to do flashing all of that you know over the over the roof hatch you know we we provide a roof hatch and a hole that needs to be cut in the roof and the and the rest is up to the up to the up to the roofer itself himself or herself um, there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page and i want to show you by looking at a prior version of this hinge, this link here to the manufacturer's page. You can click on that and you can get to the manufacturer's website. Then you'll want to be on JL Industries and then click on Products, Roof Accessories, RHD, RHDG Diamond Series. That's going to pull up everything important about this series in, in, in a nice single consolidated page. So first of all, uh, the images that they have here don't really allow us to see the hinges uh, at all. But, you know, you want to see what a 36 by 30 is going to look like. Here it is. Here's the technical drawing of that item. Your clear opening reference. the height of the curb. Also here you're going to find the catalog page for the entire um, series itself. That document does have trouble loading from the factory. There it is. Roof hatches, an overview of their roof hatches. Installation and maintenance. Okay, that's the same document that's linked to down below. That CAD drawing is here. Replacement parts, that is indeed the document, the eight-page document showing all of the replacement parts that we've just gone over. Those replacement parts, that's going to be the uh, same document um, as we've already shown. Same eight-page document. Um, BIM data, if you are, you know, doing some sort of, uh, uh, you know, illustrating to others uh, what you're working on. Other features, safety posts of the entire unit, and uh, that's an overview of this entire series. So let's switch back to the camera view and wrap up this video. Okay, in conclusion, this is just a pair of hinges. Uh, if you are replacing hinges, 
uh, on a unit if you have an RHDG Diamond Series and need hinges, here you go. They are sold only as a pair. When you buy one, we'll ship you one pair of them. And that's how you'll get your hands on this material. I am, uh, I, I have to admit, I'm happy that JL Industries manufactures parts, makes those parts available, and produces documentation that will allow you to permit the continuing safe operation out of a roof hatch. There's a manufacturer on the West Coast who's awful when it comes to, uh, and it's not JL, they, they have West Coast uh, location or locations, but they don't want to sell parts. They want to sell whole roof hatches. Well, here's my problem. You got a couple of hinges, whatever the cost is, um, and you know what, my lid is broken. Okay? I, ne I need to just repair it, and I would like to use factory original parts. And when you can't get access to that stuff, here's, here's the position that they put themselves in. The people who don't want to assist, uh, they'll never be specified again. Anyone who's specifying, and that client who needed that part worked on a major real estate. Think of the logo with the red circle and maybe the white and then the red little red circle. You get the point? Um they will never be specifying that manufacturer's roof hatch again because the answer is not to replace all four tires when you get a nail in one tire. It's to plug that hole or to replace the one tire. And that approach is awful. Um, you know, the roof hatch is, you know, $1,500. The labor is going to be $1,500 when they need $100 worth of parts. It's just, it's awful. Uh, JL Industries historically has... Uh, been on average very good of late there has been a substantial increase in the responsiveness and technical expertise when it comes to their uh, engineering department of roof hatches I ask a question on an application of a part for a roof hatch I don't get just the answer I get the encyclopedic version which is what I want where it came from why it's there how it's used and they go a step beyond what's requested and as a result of that, um, what happens? Well, people want to use their parts. Um, you have a roof hatch that might be 10 feet off the floor. It might be 50 feet off the floor. It operating safely is job one. And if you can't get replacement parts, you can't have a safe operating roof hatch. Uh, it appears to me that JL Industries understands that, and they play along very well, and they act as if they were a full-fledged partner in the process. So uh, they are doing a good thing there, and I think it will pay dividends for them. This is what a pair of their hinges looks like for their RHD uh, Diamond Series or any other. Uh, if you have a question on this or any other roof hatch part or JL Industries part at all, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.